Good morning there. This is Pastor Jeff. I'm here for our daily lectionary readings. It is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. Our psalm reading is going to be Psalm 50. Our Old Testament reading is going to be Amos chapter 5, verses 12 through 24. And our New Testament reading is going to be the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 11 through 27. Let us listen in to the scripture. Psalm 50. The God of God, it's God, speaks out, shouts, earth, welcome the sun in the east, farewells the disappearing sun in the west. From the dazzle of Zion, God blazes into view. Our God makes his entrance. He's not shy in his coming. Starburst of fireworks precede him. He summons heaven and earth as a jury. He's taking his people to court. Round up my saints who swore on the Bible their loyalty to me. The whole cosmos attests to the fairness of this court. That there here God is judge. Are you listening, dear people? I'm getting ready to speak. Israel, I'm about ready to bring you to trial. This is God, your God, speaking to you. I don't find fault with your act of worship, the frequent burnt sacrifices you offer, but why should I want your blue ribbon bull or more and more goats from your herd? Every creature in the forest is mine, the wild animals on all the mountains. I know every mountain bird by name. The scampering field mice are my friends. If I get hungry, do you think I'd tell you? All creation and its bounty are mine. Do you think I feast on venison or drink drafts of goat's blood? Spread for me a banquet of praise. Serve high God a feast of kept promises. And call for help when you're in trouble. I'll help you and you'll honor me. Next, God calls up the wicked. What are you up to? Quoting my laws, talking like we are good friends. You never answer the door when I call. You treat my words like garbage. If you find a thief, you make him your buddy. Adulterers are your friends of choice. Your mouth drools filth. Lying is a serious art with you. You stab your own brother in the back. Rip off your little sister. I kept a quiet patience while you did these things. You thought I went along with your game. I'm calling you on the carpet now, laying your wickedness out in plain sight. Time is up for playing fast and loose with me. I'm ready to pass sentence, and there's no help in sight. It's the praising life that honors me. As soon as you set your foot on the way, I'll show you my salvation. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Amos, chapter 5, verses 12 through 24. People hate this kind of talk. Raw truth is never popular. But here it is, bluntly spoken. Because you run roughshod over the poor and take the bread right out of their mouths, you're never going to move into the luxury homes you have built. You're never going to drink wine from the expensive vineyards you've planted. I know precisely the extent of your violation, the enormity of your sins. Appalling. You bully right living people, taking bribes right and left and kicking the boor, poor when they're down. Justice is a lost cause. Evil is epidemic. Decent people throw up their hands. Protest and rebuke are useless, a waste of breath. Seek good and not evil, and live. You talk about God, the God of the angel armies, being your best friend. Well, live like it, and maybe it will happen. Hate evil and love good. Then work it out in the public square. Maybe God, the God of angel armies, will notice your remnant and be gracious. Now again, my master's message, God, God of the angel armies, go out into the streets and lament loudly. 
Fill the malls and shops with cries of doom. Weep loudly. Not me, not us, not now. Empty offices, stores, faculty, workplaces. Enlist everyone in the general lament. I want to hear it loud and clear when I make my visit. God's decree. Woe to all of you who want God's judgment day. Why would you want to see God, want him to come? When God comes, it will be bad news before it's good news. The worst of times, not the best of times. Here's what it's like. A man runs from a lion right into the jaws of a bear. A woman goes home after a hard day's work and is raped by her neighbor. At God's coming, we face hard reality not fantasy, a black cloud with no silver lining. I can't stand your religious meetings. I'm fed up with your conferences and conventions. I want nothing to do with your religious projects, your pretentious slogans and goals. I'm sick of your fundraising schemes, your public relations and image making. I've had all I can take of of your noisy ego music. When was the last time that you sang to me? Do you know what I want? I want justice, oceans of it. I want fairness, rivers of it. That's all I want. That's all I want. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 11 through 27. While he had their attention, and because they were getting close to Jerusalem by this time, and expectations was building that God's kingdom would appear any minute, he told them this story. There once was a man, descended from a royal house, who needed to make a long trip back to headquarters to get authorization for his rule and then return. But first he called ten servants together, gave them each a sum of money, and instructed them, operate with this until I return. But the citizens there hated him, so they sent a commission with a signed petition to oppose his rule. We don't want this man to rule us. When he came back bringing the authorization of his rule, he called those ten servants to whom he had given the money to find out how they had done. The first said, Master, I've doubled your money. He said, good servant, great work. Because you've been trustworthy in the small job, I'm making you governor of ten towns. The second said, master, I made a 50% profit on your money. He said, I'm putting you in charge of five towns. The next servant said, master, here's your money, safe and sound. I kept it hidden in the cellar. To tell you the truth, I was a little afraid. I know you have high standards and hate sloppiness and don't suffer fools gladly. He said, you're right that I don't suffer fools gladly and you've acted like the fool. Why didn't you at least invest the money in securities so I would have gotten a little interest on it? Then he said to those standing there, take the money from him and give it to the servant who doubled my stake. They said, but master, he already has double. He said, that's what I mean. Risk your life and get more than you've ever dreamed of. Play it safe and end up holding the bag. As for those enemies of mine who petitioned against my rule, clear them out of here. I don't want to see their faces around here again. And here ends our readings for the day.